saying hi to the planet. Hey there, stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, astronomer for the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plot Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. We're here to help you find your way around the sky. How can you tell a planet from a star? Practice, practice, and more practice. But once you find a planet, you've got it made. Planets won't move much from night to night. So after you identify Jupiter, Saturn, and Mars, you could keep coming back to them night after night. In fact, during his nightly rounds, Dean likes to say hi to them. Hey, Jupiter, how's it going, Saturn? Mars, what are you doing, what are you doing? It's definitely the ultimate long distance relationship. But still, I think it's cool to know that that light up there is a planet, a world all its own. And you can let your imagination take you for a visit. And since we on Stargazers have the power over space and time, let's take you there. So uh, will they say hi back? Uh, sure they will, Dean. <laughs> let's head to the planets. Okay, we're facing southwest at about 8 p.m. any night this week. As the sky darkens, the two brightest star-like objects are actually planets. It's really easy to identify the first one. Howdy, Jupiter! Yep, that really bright star is actually the largest planet in the solar system, Jupiter. It's over 560 million miles away from us this week, but still shines brighter than anything else in the southwest. Planets like Jupiter all shine by reflected sunlight. Basically, sunlight travels hundreds of millions of miles, strikes Jupiter, then bounces hundreds of millions of miles back to your eyes. The second planet, higher in the sky and closer to the south, is the ringed planet Saturn. Hey, Saturn, what's shaking? Right now, Saturn is about 950 million miles away. At this distance, you won't see the rings without a telescope. But don't worry, we'll fly in for a closer look soon after we visit one more planet. Goody. Now we're facing south at about 8.15 p.m. Now that it's a little darker, we can see more stars. Saturn is still there. Hey, Saturn, my main man. Yes, and another planet is about 36 degrees to Saturn's left. It's bright, it's red, it's the planet Mars. Hey Mars, what's new on your dusty, rusty surface? Back in July, Mars is about 35 million miles away. That was super close and made it super bright. Since then, the Earth has pulled away from Mars in its orbit around the Sun. Mars is now almost 60 million miles from Earth. But no planet is too far for us to visit with our skyboards. Ready to fly? Up, up, up and away! away. First stop, Mars. Normally it takes a rocket six to seven months to make the journey, but we can get you there in no time. Mars is actually a pretty small planet at only about 4,200 miles across. It's about half as wide as the Earth, but it has the largest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons, which is three times taller than Mount Everest. And Mars has the grandest of canyons, Valles Marineris, a 2,000 mile long, five mile deep gash in the surface. When you fly this close to Mars, you better look out for its two moons. There goes Phobos and watch out Dean. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> there went tiny Deimos. Uh, boy, Deimos may be small, but I'm glad it didn't hit me. Faster than the speed of light, we're approaching Jupiter. Now you can see many of its 79 known moons looking like little fireflies circling the planet. As we get closer, we start to see the planet itself and its cloud bands, and coming around the side is the great red spot. Since Jupiter is 88,000 miles across, everything we see here is humongous. The red spot, for example, is two Earths wide. Although to the naked eye, Saturn just looks like an ordinary yellow star, it really comes to life when you look at it through a telescope. You can see the rings and some of its 62 moons, but the ultimate view came from the Cassini spacecraft, which orbited Saturn from 2004 to 2017. That planet just does not look real. But it is, and you can find Saturn tonight along with Jupiter and Mars. Whenever you see them, be sure to say hi. Keep looking, looking up.